All right, figure two, we're trying to figure out, we have two sides with an angle in between them, and we're trying to figure out this side across from it. Well, this is going to be the law of cosines. Now, the way I remember the law of cosines is sort of like the Pythagorean theorem that says a squared plus b squared equals c squared. So I know c squared, which is the side opposite here, which in this case is that x, is equal to the one leg squared plus the other leg squared, but we got to take away a little bit. We're going to take away, see how that's sort of like the Pythagorean theorem, a squared plus b squared equals c squared, but then we take away two times each of the legs times the cosine of the angle that's between the legs, which is the 42. So we got to subtract this amount. So it's sort of like the Pythagorean theorem, but you got to take away a little bit more. That's how I sort of remember this guy. So that x right there, that x squared, is equal to the one leg, we'll just use 24 there, the other leg will use the 26, minus 2 times the one leg, times the other leg, b, which we said was 26, times the cosine of theta. Well, theta is just that angle right there, 42 degrees. So I'm going to use my calculator, get all of that, put it all in the calculator, get an answer, and then what am I going to do? I'm going to have to take the square root of whatever that answer that I get with all that. Now, I did that earlier, and I got x comes out to be approximately 18 degrees. Not 18, 18 centimeters in this case. Sorry, it's a side length. So when I take the square root of the x squared, I get x, and I take the square root of all of that, just enter it all on the calculator. 24 squared plus 26 squared minus 2 times 24 times 26 times cosine 42. Just crank it out there and then just take the square root of it, and 18 is what you're going to get. So I know this side over here is 18 centimeters. And it makes sense. That's 18, 24, 26. They all seem to go. 42 is probably the smallest angle. It has to be. Side across from it is going to be the smallest side length. So, yeah, my answer makes sense. And that's what we have for figure two.